What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in Blade. It's your big homie, Biz, and here's a clip of DJ showing you why he's the son I wish I had. We're talking blading here every single week. I'm serious. If you're new here, consider subscribing and following. Also, like this video and share it with your friends. This is gonna be a long ass episode, so instead of wasting more time, let's talk about products. Adapt is dropping some super limited edition Willie shoes. How limited, you might ask? 10. They're only dropping 10. Five for each colorway, you can only get them in green or blue. They seem cool. Adapt makes pretty good looking skates, so they're not gonna make trash. Complete is 550, but if you can't afford that, boot only is 350. That's a lot of money. They're dropping October 1st, which is Tuesday, and they're taking pre-orders right now. So if you're rich rich, go copy your pair. Blade Club dropped so much shit this week, it's ridiculous. They had a week of new drops starting the 19th. They have new shirts featuring some of their riders, hats, a wallet, drawstring backpack, V2 of their camera or skate backpack, which is honestly my favorite, and new bearings, a ton of shit. Blade Club makes quality shit, so if you need any of these things, or actually you need all of them, make sure you pick that up. Sonic Sports LA introduced a skate repair stand, and it's honestly my favorite news this week. No longer do you have to hold your skates in between your thighs to fix that frame bolt that keeps falling out. You just place your boot on and you have an instant workbench. It comes with a tray to hold all your bolts and it fits any skate you have. Super dope. They're testing it right now, so I'll keep you updated on release dates. Okay, it's time for our weekly rims update. Let's check the website. Nope, still a spider. We'll check in next week. Okay, that's it for products. Let's get into some events. The What Year event happened at Woodward East last weekend, and I'm so jealous. It just looks so goddamn fun. There's a couple edits out already, so you can catch up on what went down. From what I'm taking away, it was basically just a big ass East Coast session. There was a trade show, a best trade competition, tons of classes, and so much more. I'm for sure going if they have in this next year. Too easy on the East Coast again? I think so. Okay, here are all the events that are still coming up. KY Battle is next weekend, October 5th in Somerset, Kentucky. Filthy Fiesta 3 is happening in San Francisco on the 3rd and Army Ledges. The Ogden Shred Fest is also happening October 12th, but in Ogden, Utah. Blading Cup is happening November 1st and 2nd in Santa Ana, California. You know that's like blading Thanksgiving, so you need to come and support that. People have been earning points all year for this bad boy, so it's going to go off. My money is on me for third. Gold Comp just got announced happening November 3rd, this time in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And it's the only 10 I see. First place is a G and $100 for the best trick. You wanna get there, the last one was dope. This one's gonna be even better. Okay, that's it for events. Let's do some wheels and deals. You all hit it on the name, but it's the best shit that we do here. Okay, Chris Farmer got booted from Dead Wheels because of the incident that happened earlier this year. I promised myself I'm gonna stay out of it. I already know I'm gonna be added for saying that, so let's just move on. Brian Kranz has an amazing article that you need to read. Link to that is in the description. Farmer immediately got picked up by Red Deals and already has a wheel coming out. That was fast as fuck. The wheel looks dope and Red Eye has like a solid team of just straight killers now. So we'll see what the future holds for the pharmacy. Quick side note, why does it look sad in all these pictures? He looks like he's about to drop the saddest country song of 2019. Speaking of Dead Wheels and how there's room on the team now, they picked up Gav Drum, who is BDC royalty, so this just makes me so excited. If you don't know Gav Drum, you're Gav Dumb and you need to educate yourself. He's out of Melbourne, Australia. You know that place that has dope spot, but every animal will kill you? Every part he drops is fire, even featuring clips, so I don't even know which one to highlight. Congrats on moving up, homie. You constantly kill it and you deserve this. Let's keep it going. Okay, that's it for wheels and deals. Let's get into these videos. Jet Renert, that's one hell of a last name for you. Put out a really dope project this week for Utah's blade scene. There's a great mixture of big spots and difficult tricks. And speaking of spots, y'all just be building shit out there in Utah, huh? It's pretty funny. The amount of shitty poured concrete in this edit is outstanding. Also, you know these pipes weren't supposed to be like this. Y'all just be making it work. I like it. I appreciate that shit. Make sure you check out this edit for real because it's dope. The Ghetto Community has Deals Volume 11 now and I don't want to spoil it for you. 
but Pablo kicks the shit out of this fisheye. It features skating from Pablo, Jordan, Ryan Mini, Chino Sin, who is honestly one of my new favorite rollerbladers, and more. Definitely check that out because it's dope and it has dope skating. Oh, I miss New York and pizza and chopped cheese. Butter TV caught up with Eric Rodriguez for Action Figures episode three. I love that rollerbladers are creating docu-series, like for real. Humanizing rollerbladers and creating content that can be shared with the outside world is truly important. I think a big problem in our sport is that people that don't blade have no idea what's going on. They see bullshit from skateboarding or news sources that hop on the most viral bandwagon and have no idea the dedication and work that goes into this shit. Showing them our key players, the content that's coming out of this, our products, our events, all the things that's happening and where it's happening is super important. I went off on a thing there. This episode talks about how Eric got into film work, linking up with Frankie, Blader Gang, and so much more. Definitely watch that, share it with your blading friends, your non-blading friends, and also share the entire series. Last piece of blading news, the Brooklyn boys are at it again. I love saying that. They have a project out called Street Tape, and it's just Eugen and Sven fucking it up for 11 minutes. And it's all skating for 11 minutes, and it's all good. Make sure you check that out. There's not much I can really say except get a big bowl of popcorn and settle in. Okay, that's it for videos. Let's get social. Stefan Brando put out some clips skating Woodward, and I usually give him shit, but I was really impressed by these. I think it's because Woodward made him wear an actual shirt, at least outside. This acid combo at the end was just, good Lord. I have been waiting for Cody Clark to give me a clip that's worth being on this show, and he still hasn't, but this is close. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Andy Lederman was gonna die on this one. I don't know if you know this, but Wake's skating again and he hasn't lost a step. Check out this clip from the compound this week. I would've touched that disaster with my 10 foot pole. Here's a clip of my favorite blading weirdo doing what he does best, weirding it up again. Some say it's Photoshop, but I say Jared Young's got the skills to pay the bills. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. As always, make sure you're following bladeunion.com to keep up to date with everything happening in the blading world. They also have a Patreon, so if you want to support them or this show directly, the one you're watching right now, the one you like that's coming weekly, hit the link in the description below. Throw a couple dollars. Make it rain. Whatever. Follow my link tree to get twib updates, blading, and a bunch of other randomness. Oh shit, my birthday is tomorrow. For this week's ender, here's a guy jumping off a rock with skates that should have imploded on impact. Here we go. <laughs>